Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an error message on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer that reads to run this application, you must install .NET Core. Would you like to download it now? So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. First thing we're just doing would be to actually select yes and then see if it can just actually go ahead and install the .NET Core application. If you're still having a problem, something else you can try here as well would be to open up the search menu and type in Windows Features. Best result, you're going back with turn Windows Features on or off. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to expand the .NET Framework entries in here and make sure everything is checkmarked. So go ahead and checkmark anything that has .NET Framework in the name of it. And then select OK and then select let Windows update down the files for you. And once that's concluded, go ahead and close out of here. And you want to restart your computer. And then once that's done, hopefully you should be good to go. However, if you're still having an issue, something else we can try here as well would be to open up the search menu and type in CMD. 
Best match to come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And then in this command line window, I'm going to have a couple of commands in the description of my video. Go ahead and copy the first command. It's DISM scan. And then go up the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, select edit and paste that in. Hit enter to begin that scan. It will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. And now that command has finished, go ahead and close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.